starting? Yeah. We are starting? Well, we're going to leave this. We're going to leave this in silence for two seconds. I have something for this interview, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. This is Terence Go, and this is Terence Go's show. And today we have Robert, who is interviewing me. But because, but because Robert is so distinguished and beautiful looking, we decided he has to be on the show itself. Thank you. I like your glasses. You're welcome. I love your glasses. I live too. in the world of glasses, you know. You do? Of course. Well, I, when you look at I always wear them. When you live in a world of glasses, that means you look, you look, you look at the world through, through a piece glasses. of glass. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and maybe I don't know anything about reality. No, you don't. What do you I guess. think? Well, I've I've always thought I've always thought that when you when you when you're born, like I'm really blind myself. That's your natural state of being. So that when when yeah. I pick up my glasses, my world is like this big blurry vision itself. Yeah, same here. Yeah, and I have yeah. no sense of depth without glasses. So so what are we doing? Going later? upstairs, I could go down <laughs> ten at once. <laughs> you can, when you're going upstairs, you could go uh, all, the way, all the way down. Yeah. And I, I also have worn them since I was a child. So mm. even if I had perfect vision, I right. would still wear yeah. glasses. Right. Because it's a part of my face. Now. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's, I can't, yeah, I can almost not imagine you without glasses. Just you, you'll here. never see me without glasses. No, yeah, <laughs> really? Okay, yeah. awesome. What, what were you like as a child? Uh, what was like as a child? Wait, can we get a close up and then and then you can leave us? Yeah, we're together. Yeah, uh, uh, just a close up and move, move pan across us and stuff, and then and then and then we can stop as it. What else I like as a child? Ooh, you, you started the really difficult ones. Yeah. Well, 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 well I want to know how you got. To this, shall we call it a subversive place? Subversive place? I don't think I'm subversive. I think my parents were really, really open. They were, they were in the Chinese opera, so that helped a lot. I mean, uh, my my mom was like a, was like an actress, and my dad directed the Chinese opera. So, since coming from this not normal upbeing, uh -huh. made made me made made me flamboyant, as people might say. Uh -huh. well, and what, what were you, well, obviously, you inherited a certain amount of uh, artistic thoughts because you were surrounded by mm -hmm. it. But when did you start developing your own artistic uh, sensibility, rebellion, whatever I you think, want to call it? I, I don't think you develop these things. I think, I think it just happens when your sperm hits your mom's pussy, when your sperm hits your mom's eggs. It's like it's not developed, it's genetics. I've thought about it for a while, it's, it's just like what you are. I mean, the env the environment does help, maybe in a sense. But if if you, if you are born to like an accountant, to an engineer, itself, even you're like it's it's a genetic disp disp disposition to be who you are itself, and you can't deny who you are. And it's the difference is, and it's a cliche, but a the difference is like it's like whether you work hard at it, or you want you want to work hard at it, or whether you want to keep use the gift itself or not use the gift itself. Mm -hmm. And I think I've chosen to like fight because I want to change history, and I think that's my that's my position. I want to change change history, not just change history, but I want to change history, not not for the better, not for the worse, but you're just genetically designed to do something that will make history more beautiful. I think world history, sexual history, no, personal history, history, in general, history, in general. history overall, overall, not just cultural history, not just uh -huh. sexual history, yes. history, history in general. Yeah. So, in other words, changing the world. Changing the world, I guess. Well, it's but like, everybody changes the world, in a way. Everybody changes the world, but I want to change the world they in change a beautiful their way. World. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. I want to change the world in a beautiful way. Uh huh. If and then, but then again, beauty is another thing. Well, you seem to be accumulating power. Mm -hmm. The power to influence. The power to to change minds. That's very true. I was talking to actually quite a few friends about this thing itself and I, th I think it's a responsibility because I do, I do have power I do have power because I produce things I produce things that affect mm -hmm. people's lives I produce objects I produce, I produce, I produce physical things they are in this world and it's, it's something and it's a responsibility and, and, and the more stuff I have it's the more power you have and I think it's a responsibility the more what you have the more the more power you have the more responsibility it's, okay. it's almost like Spider-Man okay yeah <laughs> that's so. true there yeah. we go uh -huh. But I think I think it's it's I I want to do this in a responsible way. Like people come up to you and go like I love you I love you Terence Co. And I think you just don't be a bitch to them. You just I think you've affected people's lives, and I always want to like say thank you very much that I've like 
affects you in a way. Tell me how you react to physical beauty. How do I react to physical beauty? Your own. I am my own. Other people's. Other people's. I'm, I'm biased to physical beauty. Um, I prefer physical beauty. Not not in the general sense itself, but I, I like the aesthetical beauty, such as for, for yourself, your presentation of yourself in your jacket, oh, with your black glasses. Thank you. And you and your hair itself, and the gold buttons itself. Oh, and well. Silver. We could go on. We do the silver. best we can. It's, it's like a laser scanning you. And I think that's, a, I'm like, I'm like a machine for, for beauty itself. Like, um, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm biased towards beauty itself. If, if, you're, if you're not beautiful in, in my sense, then I'm, I don't show any interest. And you wouldn't be up here talking to me. Oh, well, thank you. Not, 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 not as, I think I'm honest. I'm not, 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 not as, not as as something to well, like. I think it's fine to have standard as mm-hmm. long as it's a, a viable, right. not cruel one. No, yeah, it could be a cruel one too. I just choose not to be cruel. You choose not to be cruel. I choose not to be cruel in a sense. Because there's a very gentle air about you. You think so? Yeah, yeah there's a, a, a People very... People think I'm quite cruel sometimes. Uh, the media perception of, of me. It's quite the a lot media of perception. Yeah. Why, what do you think... Uh, Engenders that. What do you think stimulates that? What do I think stimulates that? Every time the I the fact that they think you're cruel. No, the, the fact they think that I'm superficial, maybe. Every time, if they see me going out to an event, I'm always dressed in some glamorous outfit or some fur or something. And that qualifies as superficial. I believe that what I, I believe that they do. A lot of people do think that's superficial. I don't think it's superficial. I like what. I'm, I like wearing these things not because because I think they're flamboyant or extravagant and because because I like wearing. Uh, no, I don't like. I mean, there are no rules like about being a, a, a walking, talking work of art. No, I mean, you of know. course not. Of course, Wall started it when he yeah. when, when he stood when he stood. Gilbert and Josh started it when he began doing sculptures. So Louis Bourgeois did it when she was walking around. And I think I, some artists do it, and and maybe the cruelty is, is because I, maybe in today's. In today's time, we're out in fashion, and like, and more so than any any time in history itself, it has has not merging, but like they're like, the channels that are more open to each other. I, I buy these things instead of making them myself. Maybe, mm-hmm. may, maybe maybe they find superficiality in that. Perhaps. Well, buying is an art too. Buying is <laughs> buying is a buying is a beautiful art. <laughs> you know, so, I, think, a, yeah, uh, I think I think I okay too. Yeah. Thank you so much again. Sure. And Kadar's going to be gilding, making a go-head for me, yeah, right, this very fly. second. Okay. Yeah, talking about... Well, there's something I'm <laughs> Is making. that the tricorns that are downstairs? The, the, uh, the little... This, I went shopping today for, for hat, and the, the next show I'm doing is, is there's a Moby Dick's, um, if I can go off topic. Of um, course. Yeah. There, there's no topic. There's no topic? No, no we love it. This we is don't just... Any one, topics. Here so we just, are. We're flaneers. We're just two guys We're just talking. two guys talking. So, uh, my next show is based on... Cap- on Moby Dick, and I'm going to take on the role as Captain Ahab, searching for the White Will itself, uh-huh. and it's called Captain Buddha, and it's based in Frankfurt, and uh, my assistant right now is, is going to um, go, go for this, almost like this um, pirate kind of captain kind of hat, and, um, and the reason our interview kept on get getting delayed and delayed was because I was trying to schedule all my countries, and the next month I'm visiting 15 countries. Really? I'm going to go to Tokyo, Belgium, Bangkok. Um, China, um, London, Canada, Mexico, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna take on a role pillaging these countries in this go hat. It's a world <laughs> tour. It's a world tour, so, like the Rolling Stones. They're like the Rolling Stones, <laughs> except just little me itself in a go hat. Uh, yeah, just you in a little hat. In a go in a go hat. So. And the white whale. And and a white whale that 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 who knows who I find. Maybe and, I found. And them. the white whale could be anything. The white whale could be anything. That's that's true. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, for for me, the white world is is achieving nirvana. 